All right, people, welcome back. Another episode of Daily Duel. So we have Holly's video now. So, uh, normal pendulums. This deck has been... Okay, okay. You know, if I, if I get shut down, I get shut down completely. But if I can pull off the plays, the plays are pretty nice, you know. Uh, at this point, all the monsters in the deck are normal pendulum monsters, so there is no normal monsters. But uh, I'm still going to be running cards like... Um, uh, what's that card called? What's that card called? Dark Factory, because... You know, Xing is a big part in this deck sometimes. So if I can go ahead and XC and then use Dark Factory and get my cards back, because of course, when I XC and detach my XC materials, they go to the grave. Because if they didn't, I'd be kind of busted if you detached and they went back to the extra deck. That that would be insane. You know, that would be craziness. So, you know, there's one of the exchanges with uh, with Pendulum Monsters. But uh, if I can go ahead and get them back with Dark Factory, you know, go ahead and give me a like a I got what would you call it? I guess you would call it. Uh, uh, like a salvage, yeah. yeah. Go ahead and get what two normal monsters. I think I don't think there's a restriction on anything. Is there? I can't remember. I know I know there's two normal monsters, but I'm not sure if there's a restriction on you know what level or how much attack or you know etc etc. But uh, go ahead, be able to go ahead and XC and use whoever, and then go ahead and grab those guys back with Dark Factory and be able to use them again later in the duel. Yeah, it seems like it's totally cool. Let me see. Let me see. I have my phone. Called Dark Factory something. Dark Factory of Mass Production, that's what it's called. Alright, let's see this card. Let's see if there's any like restriction or something while Holly just does her thing right now. Dark Factory of Mass Nope, just says target two normal monsters in your graveyard, add this target three hands, so it doesn't matter what how much attack they have, what level or whatever, just give me the card. This person has no extra deck. Pot. No extra deck rain pot. You're not really helping your Saki clause. You signed a contract saying that you wouldn't be a fucking scrub. Alright, let's see. I, like I said, either either you're being a scrub. No, you're being a scrub. Alright, you're being you're being a fucking scrub. Alright, so Exodia. Sure seems like it. Hope for escape and that freaking uh, gotta grab two cards. Definitely, definitely something to draw. Yep, Zodian tags. All right, well, that Royal Decree will be sort of your undoing, and you still have, you know, battle faders and so scarecrows. But besides that, you're not really in this duel. So it's pretty much your tag partner versus both of us. So, yep. She decided to be a full on scrub today. That's cool. Exodian tag. How nice of you. Don't fill up that road decree. Alright, and like usual, we'll go ahead and jump the living shit out of the opponent. We'll go ahead and get Q. Now, who do I want in the zone? Who do I want? I guess I want you and you. Yeah, I could summon you and you and do some damage. Yeah, so. Put you in the Got all the red decrees, though. Like, holy shit. I mean, of course, the chances of me getting completely fucked up by, you know, Exiton is high. It's high as fuck. But, yeah, there's not much I can do about that now, is there? Alright. Pendulum Shokan. Think about setting one more, what, just one more Royal Decree? Just to make sure? So this, I have to destroy opponent's monster by battle, so. To tell you the truth, I doubt I'm even gonna get any damage in. Like, he's already just gonna be like, alright, so it's Scarecrow, Battle Fader, I'm Scrub, I'm using Exodia. Like, alright. I said, you're not even in this duel. Like, you are not even in this duel. I can't wait for Holly to use the gen ritual releasers. There it is. Little scrub. I said, I don't respect you. I'll leave the lol chain. I don't need it. I mean, I could put a monster on top of the deck. Ooh, no. Holly might need it more. I'll set one, the other row to Kree just in case this one gets MST. So, it's this guy, this guy right here. Newbie one. 
noob, yeah, newbie one versus both of us. Because I can tell you guys pretty much not doing anything. That sucks. That really does suck. Uh, you know, you gotta be partnered with a damn Exodia scrub. Ooh, galaxies. I don't know. Depending on what he can pull off, he might be able to take both of us. You know, very big, explosive, high beater monsters. So, you know, depending on what Holly has, he might be able to do some work. Oh, okay. Never mind. It's the fucking. Alright, some blaster. Alright, that's fine. Now what? Galaxy Wizard increase your level to 8. Or are you tributing yourself? Oh, you're going to 8. Okay. Galaxy Queen's Light. Alright, both 8. And is it time for Dark Matter? I think it's about time for Dark Matter. Yep. Oh. Alright, Galaxy has Prime Dragon. Oh. Now dark matter. There you go. No full armor to go ahead and pop something. Pop a face up card. Then dark matter. Seriously. Yay, dark matter deck. <laughs> seriously. Fucking dark matter. I hate that guy. Like, he's one of the- he's seriously one of the dumbest fucking card makes of, in Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, Konami was on fucking crack when they made him. It doesn't make any sense. Great, so now I gotta banish a whole bunch of shit in my deck. I hate this guy. I hate this guy. I like- I seriously don't even know why they fucking made this shit. It's so fucking stupid, like... Don't fucking make shit that works like- it's fucking retarded. Like, Konami. Konami. Listen to me, Konami. Why the fuck, why in the living fuck would you ever, ever make a fucking monster that sends dragons? Like, it's fucking retarded. But Konami's on some good shit. Konami is on some good fucking shit. No. I don't even want to do this because it's just so, it's just so boring. It's the same fucking shit. Just dark matter, dark matter, dark matter, dark matter, dark matter. Like, who the fuck made this card? You should be fired. Like, the synergy with this, like, it's literally a fucking OTK. Like, send the three dragons, one being a quest item, one being a dragon ruler, dragon ruler, banish the quest item and get you back your Redim. Banish, summon your Redim. Redim will bring you back him. You could put another dark matter, like, Konami. Konami, you're fucking retarded. I already knew Konami was fucking retarded. That, you know? Oh my god, Konami is fucking retarded? No, I knew that. You know, I fucking knew that. Like, this game, this game is going to complete shit. Just complete and utter shit. I don't even want to do this duel right now. Why, so you can dark matter me again? Like, nah, I'm, I'm gonna get a different duel. I'm bare back. Uh, so, Exodia and dark matter in one fucking duel. Awesome! Like, come on, scrubs. I get some skill. I play Exodia. I play a Dark Matter OTK. Woo! Skill! All I have to do is make a fucking rank 8 and I'm gone. Like, no. No, 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 no. I don't even know why Dark Matter was even invented. Just, <laughs> like, really? Like, fucking Dark Matter is, like, one of the dumbest ideas in a cool minute. You know, like, you don't fucking learn your lesson, do you, Konami? Infernoids, all right, more skillish trash. What's up with everybody using skillish trash today? Well, Infernoids, I wouldn't call them trash, but they're still skillless. Any deck based off of milling and luck is skillless, but... Whatever. So Infernoids, this should be fun. Not. <sighs> I really like Infernoids. If she can use that fucking degenerate rituals to go ahead and summon. 
Because that guy would pretty much be out of the door. Four. No, I'm just not into this deck. You know, you will never see me playing front lines. Wow, hidden army and everything. Wow, another reasoning. All right. This fun, just watching him flip through cards. Was that fun? Watching him just card, 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 card. What's that? No scale. This deck is based on how much you mill. More milling. Not our opponent is not done. It's just luck anyway. It's all luck. It's all luck. Not much skill. You just, your plays are based on what you mill. Going against a lot of skillless. The skillless. Oh, this wasn't a tag duel. That'd be an OTK right there. Okay. I didn't get to see my hand, but it's cool. I don't really care. We're back again. Yeah, I'm totally happy to be back in Yu Gi Oh! Uh, uh, Alright, I actually want to get a duel in. We're 12 minutes into this video. Let's get a duel in. Alright? Let's go back and forth. We'll actually duel. We'll actually play the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. We'll actually take some skill and some thought process and not just skilllessness. Because literally, the last three opponents have been so skillless. Alright? I want to hear it. Oh, no. The mill, they're based on luck. Not skill. Your plays are based on what you mill. That's not skill. No. 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 Oh, look at all his great plays. He got fucking lucky with his reasoning. Woo! Like, no. No. Ain't no skill in that. Ain't no skill at all. Exodia. Ooh, that's, that's, now that's some good skill. You know? Oh, Dark Matter? All I gotta do is make a freaking rank 8 and I go to town on your ass in OT. You know, I, I don't know. Like, can we have an aggressive deck that actually takes skill? Because right now, the aggressive decks, oh, I guess, kind of shit alls. Kind of. Kind of. You got you to gotta know what cards to use, when, and, you know, keeping track. I, you know, I'd say an aggressive deck that you, that takes a little bit of skill, I'd say shit alls. I'd say shit alls. But, you know, four nerds are luck-based. The dark matters make one damn card, so that's nothing. And... What else? What's an? It's another aggressive deck. Is this deck really aggressive? I don't think so. Not really. No, it's more control based. No. Yeah. I don't realize how helpful releaser is. Remember when Slate said that no one was gonna play releaser. Releaser is so fucking helpful. Like re if releaser, if that releaser play, if Hollywood would have been able to pull off that releaser like first turn. During those last couple of opponents, we we this duel would be already we'd be we'd be chill. We'd be chill right now. We would beat the fucking dark matter guy with ease. The Exodia guy wouldn't have been able to do much anyway with the Rotor Creek and Cat Special Summon, so no battle fader too. And fucking the the Inferno guy, he'd be shit out of luck. Yep. See? That this this card is fucking stupid, like you know, and Konami is just like, oh yeah, hyping it up. Yeah, GG. We'll try to get one more. I didn't even get to see my hand once again. Bear back. You know what? That Jidrin Releaser play is kind of... Bu I mean, it saved us a couple of times. But I'm really starting to think that it's really just kind of bland and busted, you know? 
you know, just set up that play and go to town. It's just kind of like, eh. You know, I might, I might request Holly to use a different deck. You know, because that, that's literally, that's literally what she does. She just banishes, sets up the release service, the level, the, the one hundred dollar level chain, banish it with a ritual summon, and then we pretty much win. And that's not really entertaining, is it? You know. And sitting here complaining about everybody else using fucking skillless, generic, fucking degenerate plays, and Holly's doing the same exact thing when you really sit down and think about it, you know? Let me just go ahead and fucking play a fucking searchable vanities, you know? She's like, oh, okay. Okay, you know? Yeah, I'll probably ask her after this video. Yeah, I'll ask her just to use a different deck. You know? Or if you want to use this deck, then take out really sir because really sir just makes it you know this deck can be control based it can you know be you know back and forth you know you do a play they do a play you do a play they do a play the only problem is eventually you'll run out of resources but uh you know this play that she's doing right here you know the menju the search kaleido unicorn send him surge chain D tag send Lisa ritual so, like it, it it's boring like literally how many times have we seen this play over and over again like you know the freaking dark matter deck only does have to make a rank eight and then it goes off the stupid ge you know generic same you know been there done that play this deck does the same exact thing you know no wonder the level chain is shooting up to a hundred dollars chain it's such a key component in this play the key component in you know. Volcanic, it's such a key card. It's just, just the fucking of all chain has always been a great card, you know. You know, you really think it wouldn't, you know. It's technically an egg, you don't even really plus off of it, but you know, once again, I mean, we have Foolish Burial at one for a fucking reason because I mean, look at it, fucking Foolish Burial. You send a monster and it's at one, like yeah, that's already busted, right? It's already fucking busted. So, making a monster, I could do the same exact thing. I mean, I'm not saying that, you know, the Lava Chain should ever be hit or anything, because, you know, it does take resources and time and effort to go ahead and do that play. It's not like, oh, foolish, you know. You actually got to have two low horde monsters, XC, like which is technically a nag, detach, go ahead and send a, you know, it says a card, but, you know, generally you're sending monsters, you know. In the second effect, you know, if you got to add the monster from your deck to your hand now, yeah, that would be super busted, but you don't even get to do that. All you do is just get to uh, put on top of your deck. So, and that means even your opponent knows what you're going to draw. So, well, the chain is good, but, you know, maybe another reprint would be nice. I really don't even know why you allowed Holly to get that far in her play. Like, if you had the Phoenix Chain, you should have just Phoenix Chain the fucking shit immediately. I don't know. Paul is forever. Okay. That's the one problem with running World Decree and the other things. You only get that one. You know they're definitely going to just throw the MST at you. You know, they don't give it if and but about what it is, you know. They don't throw the MST at you because that's the only card that's really, at this point, that they know of that's really hindering their plays. Those are the shadows. There's not a lot of decks that play Alert of Darkness right now, so. Black Wings. New Black Wings. Well, that road would have been very helpful and. Yeah, so. That's the problem. They'll throw that. They'll throw that one fucking uh, MST at you. Oh, Icarus too. All right, great. So I better not commit to anything. I'll probably just not commit to anything. Great, and then of course they summon the monster stronger than the level chains. Yeah. Yeah. Because now the problem is that I got to commit to even get up the 19 beater. But if I try to commit to anything, I'm going to get Icarus attacked. So either way, I'm, I'm stuck between a dick and a hard place right now. With more background. That World of Creed would have been fucking the tits. <sighs> X 
serious. I don't even know what to fucking really do right now. I don't want to set my pendulum scales. If I set them, they're just going to get popped. It's just an ass ton of background. If I set my world decree, then he can just go ahead and hit me during the end phase. Oh. So, that's a problem. I got you, I got you. I need a lower scale person. No, I'm not going to do much of anything. Go ahead. And face your curse attack? Oh, even fucking better. Yep, I quit. I quit. I'm tired of this video. Wow, I can't even fucking bait out the acres attack. Oh, come on. <sighs> that I could bait out the acres attack. I didn't know he's gonna have a fucking anti reverse, too. Fucking great. This duel is just going awesome. Back row, back row, back row, back, back row, 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 fucking back row. I God, I can't stand back row in Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, that's why it's one of the key reasons why I hate Yu-Gi-Oh. Back row. I really do. No other fucking card game has back row like that, like fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. You can literally one up the shit of your opponent with back row and still win the duel. Like it's ridiculous. Like, come on, fucking hypocritical ass black wings. Fucking hypocrites. They play back row, yet they'll hit your back row with fucking anti reverse. It's like, oh, come on. Like, how much of a fucking hypocrite are you? Like, oh, I play back row, but if you try to play back row, nope. Like, black wings have some of the most busted cards. You know, they didn't have consistency issues. And they're slow. They have some of the Bust, most bust, busted ass cards. Like, what the fuck? Like, oh, yeah, give them a fucking, a th fucking ban heavy storm, but give them their own heavy storm. Like, you know? Like, alright. Not, no, not even heavy storm. Fucking, fucking Harpy's Feather Duster. Just your opponent. Like, you know? Fucking go right into Exiton. Fuck that. Exiton these motherfuckers. That sucks. I really thought I could maybe bait out the Icarus attack by maybe getting him to hit, like, you know, one of the polys or something, but nope. He's like, nope, I got that anti-reverse too, so you're gonna get it. It's either, it literally, unless they're on some of your other backgrounds, it's either Icarus attack now or he'll forever hold your peace. Because she's got to go next on. Wow, alright, alright, wow, alright, alright. Alright, done. Done, this video's done. Done! Done, 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 done. This video is done. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. I am so tired of Yu-Gi-Oh. Already. I'm back and I'm already tired. Because videos like this. It's just like, wow. What? How do you forget Exiton, Holly? Put Exiton. Exa fucking ton. Like, come on. He's one of the fucking top. Like, I'm. Mmm. Mmm. What, are they both using Black Wings or something? No, then he's probably using fucking Raid Raptors. Or maybe... Yeah, probably Raid Raptors. Or maybe it is Harpies. Great. So, it's sort of double decking. Sort of double decking, because of course they both have Wing Beast. Yeah. Icarus Attack. There it is. Hope you have another Trish in your hand so you can fucking block your Trish with a Trish. Oh, you have a gun here. Alright. Banner said Harpist. Oh, grab the Regeki, too. Cool. Blacklings can seriously handle that really easily. Dole. 
black wings and whatever is using harpist so background dot decks two of them synergizing with each other that's how i wonder if these two are working together yeah all right summon black wing tank drop the clue that's all you gotta do But double, double like this attack. Like, all right. Harpy, Harpist, the Swallows. No, he's using Raid Raptors. No, Raid Raptors and Black Wings. Whoo, all the Wing Beasts. <laughs> Get Icarus attack, bitch. Yep, there comes Kloot. Yep, there's Kloot. Oh my god, Kloot. Ooh. This is like one of the best fucking YouTube videos, isn't it? This this video is just the best. God, my kingdom for fucking for fucking another poly, but they got fucking reversed. I would love another poly right now. Oh, well, I could go for Solda. Solda is in this deck. Right now, I think beating them with beating them is the best choice right now. And this guy's using Raid Raptors. It takes a little while to set up. Oh, never mind. Noden. Ah, Noden's busted. Yep. Noden summoned you back if he goes to Nexaton. Yeah, one, two, three. One, two, three. Yep, I'm gonna get Nexaton. Ah. Because they run Nexaton, unlike Holly, who uh, for some odd reason doesn't. Alright, go ahead next on me. So I'm pretty much out of this duel. I am fucking absolutely out of this duel. <laughs> That's good. God, nothing is powerful. Yep. Exiton! Ba ba da da! Oh no, you wanna go for him. Okay. I guess. I guess you have some kind of plan. You should have Exitoned. Exitoned would have took me out of Doom. Holly's already down and uh, already low on resources. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yep. Exitoned would have completely fucking removed me from the door. You're both bad. I forgot to put it in! Holly, I forgot to put it in! You're both bad. Both of you. Exiton is probably, probably number one when it comes to exceeds that you put in. If you, if, you know, Shadals, look at them. Look at, fucking Shadals, look at them. They barely go into fucking rank force. Is there Exiton? Damn strength there is, you know? Ooh, one of the Raid Raptors. I can actually see one of the Raid Raptors here. All right. All right. Ouch. Good thing I don't take any damage. No, good thing I don't take any damage because of him. That would be a lot. Ooh. Is that the main guy right there? I think it is. No, that's not the main guy. That's that's an upgrade of him. Once you turn, you can target when monster your opponent controls destroyed. And if you do, not click him. Wow. That is very powerful. They made that guy a monster. Look at him. Hello. <laughs> 
They said, oh, we are going to make someone who just fucks up fetches of a monster. You about to get the dangling. Like, oh, shit. I wonder if that's another Icarus attack. Like, six Icarus attacks. Like, whoo. Six Icarus attacks. Three for Black Wings and three for Raid Raptors. Six fucking Icarus attacks. Like, tell me that's not a little too much. Like, hello? It's too many Icarus attacks. This is the reason why we run fucking run the Korean tag duels because it's two times the traps. It's fucking two compulsions and two bottom ones and two warnings and six things chains and and six Icarus. Uh, it's too much. It's too much. And both these decks play a lot of acro. If there's any deck, any deck we will love to just have the Royal Decree for, it'd be this. But of course, he had the MST. That one MST was probably the most clutch card in this duel. That one MST. Let's say you want to go ahead and play the Icarus attack. And your attack right now would be the best. God damn it. What the fuck? Why do you keep getting MST? Like, dude, oh my god, just fuck up my skills. Like, alright. Alright, really getting tired of getting MST. Like, this guy's just being full on hypocrite. Like, in one separate background, and every single time we try to do something, like, nope, MST, 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 MST. Like, he, he keeps on constantly getting MST and fucking us in the ass with MST. God, MST, you're so fucking good. I wish we would get you. <laughs> Unless I draw another lower scale monster, I'm sitting on this duel for a while. <sighs> like seriously, I need another lower scale monster. I need a tanky. Watch that be another MST. <laughs> if I could top deck a tanky, I'd be so happy. I don't even want to type spell. I'm thinking of spells right now. I'm thinking about that tanky. Fossil Dig is definitely not what I needed. Fossil Dig is nice, you know. Up to my consistency, but you really can't do anything with that. Absolutely cannot do anything with that, so. No, I needed Tanky, you gave me Fossil Dig, so. This duel is going to go extremely slow. As long as we get to build up resources, that just means that our opponents just get to build up more back row. Woo! Yay! I say, if we get Icarus attacked one more time, it's over. One more time. We just need to get Icarus attacked one more fucking time, and that's it. And, and they still got five more. That's the, that's the shit thing. They still got five more Icarus attacks. You know, where's another Royal Decree? No one in sight, but, you know... Oh, we got four more Royal Decrees? Because Holly's got destroyed and mine got destroyed, right? Yeah. More back row. No, that helps. Unless you got another MST, or you're going to hit me with the Nickers attack. Alright. Yep. Yeah. Pendulum Shulkin. It's all the morning. 
So it could completely remove me from this door. Bottomless time warning. I know you got back row. Play it. I know you got back row. There it is. Knew it. So much back row. Hate this door. Both of them are just back row, back row, back row, back row, back row. Like, look at this. They were wanting up the shit out of us. There's Capulse. All right. All right. I quit. I'm at defeat. I'm done. I'm done. Done. This video's done. I quit. I quit. I'm tired of Yu-Gi-Oh right now. I came back from my break and I'm already sick of Yu-Gi-Oh. Isn't that fucking great? I am so done. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. So, thanks for watching. And I guess I hopefully we'll have a better duel tomorrow with, uh with Tiago and Lunar because God, this is just ill. All right, done. Nope, not even gonna give them the pledges of fucking beating us. All right, see you guys tomorrow.